السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, Good morning to everyone Everywhere, anywhere And I wish you a good day today Prosperous and happy day It's still a little bit cold in UK With the temperature about 3 or 4 And you can see me wearing this jacket uh, As you can understand how difficult it is We are not in the Middle East or in Asia or in Africa To, to wear our uh, short sleeve shirts or t-shirts And go out yet Today we are going to talk about an, a subject which I think is very important It is when we will have a good ruler uh, It's a title that I wrote It's a component a few months ago But let us remind ourselves of a few principles before we go Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran said قُلِ اللَّهُمَّ مَالِكَ الْمُلْكُ تُؤْتِ الْمُلْكَ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتَنْزَعُ الْمُلْكَ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتُعِزُّ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتُذِلُّ مَنْ تَشَاءُ بِيَدِكَ الْخَيْرِ إِنَّكَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ Allah said in the Holy Quran in Surah uh, uh, I think Al uh, Imran O oh, oh Allah the owner of the universe or the king of the universe the custodian of the universe تُؤْتِ الْمُلْكَ مَنْ تَشَاءُ You give the kingdom or you give the ruling to whom you like and you take it out from the whom you like then give the pride and the honor to whom you like and humiliate whom you don't like and give uh, and give all the rizq or the goodness or the food or the wealth to whom you like so when we are in the kingdom of God we have to understand There is no kingship to any king without the approval of the supreme king of the, which is the creator subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is principle number one. Principle number two is as some says mentioned by uh, Sheikh Sha'rawi in Egypt. لا تأمر على الله لملك You cannot conspire against Allah for any kingship to become a king or ruler. وَلَا كَيْدَ عَلَى اللَّهِ لِحُكْمِ And you cannot actually plot against Allah to become a governor. فَلْيَعْلَمِ الْجَمِيعِ Every one of us should know that no one of us will rule or will govern in the kingdom of God without his permission. He is the one who chooses each and every one of us. How can we not realize this principle? And he said, "In the علم ليس بكثرة knowledge is not because you, they cannot call you knowledgeable or you are a knowledgeable man because you say some many things. Knowledge is a light of Allah in your heart. And one of the Principles of having this light of Allah in your heart is to control your desire. To control your desire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said also some other, another principle. Ya you are an Allah wa atu Rasul wa ulil amr minkum. Oh, you believe, follow Allah and follow his prophet, messenger, then, then. Follow your ruler. When you follow the ruler, إِنَّمَا الطَّاعَةُ فِي الْمَعْرُوفِ To follow them if they are doing good. And this is what Hazrat Abu Bakr عنه, said, أَتِعُونِ مُؤَطَعَةَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولُهُ Follow me if I follow Allah and his messenger. فَإِذَا عَصَيْتَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولُهُ فَرَطَعَةَ لِي عَلَيْكُمْ And if I disobey Allah and his messenger, don't follow me. Okay? This is some of the principles before we go to talk about when we will be able to have a good ruler. The kingship of uh, the kingship is in the hand of the king of the kingdom of humanity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the first hadith to talk about the ruler as well is Prophet Sallallahu said, All of you. All of you are guardians and are responsible for your subject or his subject or her subject. The man is and responsible for his family. 
The woman is a guardian for and, and responsible for her husband's house and children. All of you are guardians and are responsible for your words. He and she, who is the ruler? He and she is the faithful, trusted servant. A ruler is a faithful, trusted servant. Could be a king, could be a queen, could be a president, could be a prince, could be a sheikh, could be a, 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 a minister, whatever you call it. Could be a governor, anyway. He is she a faithful, trusted servant. Servant for, by the people, trusted by the people who look after their interests, save and protect and develop their resources. This is the definition, first definition of the ruler. And he or she is responsible for managing the states of their affair. If a king, queen, president, ministers and others are not more a servant to serve their own people and to protect their resources. How can we apply the rule of make me a good ruler? The ruler will not be good unless we people are good. And the rule the people become good if the ruler is good. It is dual courage way. It's relationship between us and the ruler. Many people today say that we are living in a corrupt country. We have a corrupt government. We have a bad atmosphere. No just atmosphere. No political atmosphere. No democracy. No, 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 no. And keep cursing the king, cursing the queen, cursing the uh, president, cursing the emir, cursing the sheikh, cursing everybody. Okay? Which is clearly an act of desperation from the public. This is what we hear. Wherever you go, whenever you go to any country, most of the countries nowadays, talk about corruption, military, rule, military dictatorship, and other, and other, and security dictatorship, and others, and others. Okay? Responsibility for me is two types. One is individual on myself, on myself, before I start talking about others. What's my responsibility to have this good ruler or good governor or good emir or good president or good uh, whatever you call him or her? First of all, this is actually the criteria. When I become a good citizen, am I asking myself, am I a good citizen or not? It's number one. Starting myself at home, am I, am I a good husband, good father, good mother or not? This is the first personal question for each and every one of us. My responsibility. I can make myself good as a husband, as a wife, as a citizen, as a father, as a mother. Number one. Am I loyal? Loyal. Love and protect my country. When I become loyal to my country, when I become, when I love my country, and when I protect the resources of my country, this means I'm going to have a good ruler. I have a role to play. When I know the history of my country and the resources, people don't even know the history of their country. No, don't know that, that gold and other minerals and oil and gas and all this wealth in their countries. Ignorance. When me giving primacy, primacy to public interest than my own interest. Oh, if you are not giving the primacy to the public interest to your interest, we will never be able to have this kind of good ruler. When respecting the feelings of my fellow citizens who have different faith, values, culture, and the ethnic background, it's very important to look at this as personal responsibility, if I want to have, become a good citizen, so I have a good ruler. When respecting my neighbors and neighborhood, 
People sometimes think, oh, we have to make a military. They want to change everything. And they, they are actually thinking that everything, they are innocent, they are angels, and actually the other people are, are, are the, the devil. No. We have to work on ourselves first. When respecting our neighbors and neighborhood, when knowing the values and morality of my religion, you are Christian, you are Muslim, you are whatever you are, you don't know your religion. You ignorantly, blindly, the ignorant, ignorantly, blindly following fake preachers who are drowning you and your community and your society and your country. When knowing the values and morality of my religion, not only this is not enough, and use these values and moralities to serve my country, not to divide my country, to unite my country, to unite my people, not to divide my people. When, as person, I become keen to go through the process of reading, read, know the knowledge, learn, huh? cultural cultivation and education, keep learning, keep reading, keep knowing, keep understanding. Don't be staying still and listening to somebody who can lecture you. When I have good moral values, manners and behavior, personal, I do not be able to run my own personal affairs, be independent, not to be spoon-fed by others. Independent, take the risk, make the change, meet the challenges. When I will stand next to justice, which is very important, just causes, being able to fight for my rights and protect the vulnerable, weak, oppressed individuals in my country. This is my own responsibility before I talk about having a good ruler or not. Saying it again, when I become good citizen, husband, wife, and having good family, when I become loyal, love, protect my country, when I know the history and the resources of my country, when giving primacy to public interest rather than my own interest, when respecting the feelings of my fellow citizens who have the different faith, values, culture, ethnic background, when respecting my neighbors and neighborhood, when knowing the values and moralities of my religion and use them to serve my country, not divide my country, when I become keen to go through the process of reading, learning, and cultural cultivation and education, when I have good moral values and manners and behavior, when I will be able to run my personal affair, when I will stand next to justice, just causes, and to the oppressed people. This is my personal responsibility. Eleven points could be more. Are we doing this before asking other people to become good and loyal to the countries or to our own countries? Quite often throw people with stones while we live in glass houses. Okay, this is the first responsibility. No, 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 still, still about more to go, so, sorry. When I raise my children and younger generation on the following values, how can I raise the second generation? First of all, fulfilling their duties towards others. You have to fulfill your duties towards others. Saying the truth and the following just way. Becoming a role model. Tell my son and my daughter to become a role model and become a community servant. By becoming a community servant, when I love life and make it loved by everyone. So... 13 points, the, the number 12 is for the children and second generation to come. Tell my children, fulfill your duties towards others. The others could be your neighbors, your country, your uh, 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 fellow uh, uh, citizen, you, uh, your, uh, your colleague in the work and the school. Saying the truth and following just way, becoming a role model. You, my son, my daughter, become a role model by becoming a community serv uh, ser ser servant and love life and make it loved by others. These are the 13 points that actually make me responsible to become a good citizen so I'll have the just way, I'll, have the, I'll, I'll be justifying my cause of having a good ruler. The second point of responsibility is the organizational responsibility and this is for each and every one of us to look at his country and his society. Do we have this organizational responsibility or not? 
First of all, when we build strong civil society sector and independent civil such organization that can monitor government performance, making it acceptable to public, challenges corruption and empower people. This is a challenge. And this is the main and major fight between us and the corruption. Strong civil society sector and the strong and independent civil society organization to monitor and uh, fight corruption in the country. Number two, when we make our state institution independent from the government, not to be run by the government, not to be dictated by politicians or military or security. State institution must be independent. And this is what we call them the establishment. Number three, when we have independent, what? Look at, I put some examples. It's our organizational responsibility. First of all, we have to have independent houses of representative parliamentary institution. This is number one. Not to be like uh, mediocre like what we see in certain countries. Okay? Independent leg 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 legislative uh, uh, councils, judicial system, security forces, army, military forces, and each of them is fulfilling and uh, uh, the aims and the objective of their creation. Not only to be independent, but to fulfill. You have a judiciary, parliament, a, a legisl legislative system, security, and military. So the military should not be controlled by the president. The security should not be controlled by the government. It's independent because it serves the people, not serves the king or the queen or the uh, president or the sheikh and whatever it is. And the judiciary, the judiciary and the other. When we have this institution independent, we'll be able to have the good ruling ship and good governance of the country. When liberty space of citizens, political parties, organizations, and other civil structure is wide enough to keep them alive and kicking. The civil liberty space is where innovation, where democracy, where shura, where empowerment, where developing, where renaissance, where civilization can be built. Without this civil liberty space, we cannot have uh, this kind of development. When we have a strong national economy, based on what? Available natural resources, citizens' ability and productivity, national affiliation, homeland loyalty, and part patriot patriotism, the principle of equal opportunities as well. So, economy, national economy, strong national economy. Then when we invest in education and research, think tank institution, volunteering and volunteerism, social justice and services, archiving and history writing, awareness raising, characteristics of na uh, national identity. We invest this investment. When our organization follows the principles, transparency, governance, we talk about good governance, transparency, accountability, social empowerment, peaceful transfer of power, leaving no one behind, involving youth and women, integration, and the other principles of good governance. This is number 10. Number 11, when we invest in different types of waqf, waqf is out of the question. Waqf now is not a civil society organization. It is a government organization. It should become a civil society organization. Waqf an institution or trust or endowment. We invest in waqf to provide what? What do you want from waqf or trust or uh, uh, endowment scheme? To provide social service, economical investment, political support and stability, think tank, support think tank, support cultural activity, support research development and education, support advocacy, support religious and moral values and history, tradition, 
support arts, music, sports, drama, cinema, support discovering and empowering young talented men and women, climate change, climate awarenesses, and uh, conservation of land, water, habitat, and species, history, monuments, and, and antiquities. So this is the our uh, our organization responsibility. So I mentioned individual responsibility. I say again, what organization responsibility we need to have? First of all, strong civil society sector and organization. Second, independent state institution, which including the House of Commons, the House of Representative. Uh, legislation, judiciary, security, military should not be run by a government or politician. Uh, level, uh, civil level space increased. We have national economy strong based on what natural, natural resources, citizens' ability, productivity, national affiliation, and so on. So, uh, when we invest in what? Look at investment in education, research, think tank, institution, volunteerism, and voluntary sector social justice services and others. Good governance, which includes transparency, accountability, social empowerment, and all these uh, principles we need to follow. Then when we invest in Waqf, Waqf is the most dynamic and important scheme that we can have as a part of our civil society structure. Because it can go and help all this from music and art and drama and supporting talented people, uh, climate awareness, social service, economical investment, political, and so on. So coming back to talk about it, let us say who is the ruler again. Ruler is a responsible man, so he'll be asked about his responsibility or responsibility. He is to be questioned, or she is to be questioned. He or she are servants. He or she are governed, so should be, should be uh, uh, governed by the rule of the country, not by their own rule. They should be staying to serve everyone. The top of the pyramid of the country is the citizen, not the king, not the queen, not the president not the ruler, not the, uh, not the minister, unfortunately. And this is what the Prophet وسلم, peace be upon him, taught us. كُلُّكُمْ رَاعٍ وَكُلُّكُمْ مَسْؤُولٌ عَنْ رَيَاتِ All of you are guardian. And all of you are responsible for whom you are responsible for. But you are not above question. You are not above being uh, uh, challenged. And you have to become, when you, when you become a, a, a citizen or, or an individual who actually working for the civil uh, uh, society or for the government or for uh, uh, become a ruler, you have to be prepared to be asked about your performance and about your role in the society. So... Thank, I take the opportunity to thank you very much for having me in this 20-25 minutes. And I think if we work on ourselves, then we build this kind of an institution, we definitely will be able to change the climate of corruption which is affecting most of our countries, whether in the West or in the East or in the North or in the South. These are my social media uh, logo if you want to follow. And in about 10 minutes, inshallah, we'll be delivering this again in Arabic. جزاكم الله خير والآن يعني دي يعني ننت نتحدث معكم بعد عشر دقائق نفس المحاضرة باللغة العربية. نراكم بعد عشر دقائق. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.